it's all heartwarming for me to be in Toronto because I remember being in the Sheraton Hotel and tell you honestly, sometimes I would, you know, 17, 18, 19, I was walking through the, you know, the underground mall and uh, I was thinking to myself, this is going to be my future unless I do something really different. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but as I was saying before, what I wanted to do didn't really exist yet. So it took me really years and years and decades and decades to get to a place where I became an overnight success. And, uh, but my dedication was really strong. I was 44 and broke because I had been to India 10 times and I noticed in India that people were happy who didn't even have shoes on their feet. And being an astute observer of human behavior, I thought to myself, I also know people who have a lot of money who are not happy. <laughs> and so I began to more, because I value happiness tremendously, I thought, well, I'm gonna spend more hours of every day in my career than doing anything else, so I better find a career that makes me come alive. And uh, because I believe life is a long time, I allowed myself a very extended adolescence to uh, continue to discover what makes me happy and fulfilled and also contributes to making the world a better place. So I'm really uh, appreciative of your intelligence and your uh, investigation to find your way to integrated nutrition because it takes a lot of work to figure this out, to figure out that uh, the healthcare system is kind of broken that what gets people healthy is not uh, red pill or blue pill, and it's not medications or operations, but what gets people healthy is e eating healthy and having a balanced lifestyle, a balanced uh, circle of life that includes healthy, happy relationships and physical exercise, a career that you love, and some form of a spiritual practice that feels right for each individual, whatever that may be. Hello everybody, I'm Krupa from Montreal. I uh, last 12 years in corporate environment as a creative director in the fashion industry. It's a job where, it's, it's a very well paid job, glamorous life, travel, everything. But after completing six months in IIN, I realized that this is my future. This is really what I want to do. And it took me a lot of courage to leave that job. During the holidays, with the help of my family and husband, I decided that I'm going to leave this job. And my first day back from holidays, I resigned. I gave three months notice, and by end of March, I'll be finishing my full-time job, and I'll be working as a full-time health coach. The same thing. I work in the corporate world. I have, a, I have a my degree in business administration. I've been there, sitting down for a computer for a long time, but now, I think this is the time that we can change our lives and the rest of the, the, the people around us. I have a community in Spanish because it's my accent. Um, I'm from Colombia, and uh, unfortunately in those places they don't know about this. And, uh, and the power of the food, and the power of the thought, and the circle of life, and being able to share the circle of life with those people and explain what is your primary food that is not the chicken, the potato, and the rice, right? So for me, this was a very, and it's like starting very amazing things. So if you're in this career, you're thinking, and, and I know that it's a lot of graduates and students, I think we deserve a better life, and we're here in a big applause for all of you. Thank you, Joshua, because I'm so grateful. When you're in corporate, your clients are going to be people who have a job. So they're not going to be available during the day anyway. So they're going to, you can keep your corporate job, get your feet wet. They're going to want to see you in the evening and on the weekends or during the lunch hour. And then you, you need to get to 10 clients. The first client you get, you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. You're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Second client, you're like, okay, I know how this works. Third client, you get a better sense of what you do. You have to get to a 10 client. And then you develop momentum. Same to my husband, you know, like, you've gone to university or college, and these teachers never turn around to say, okay, let's see how my student 
are doing. Joshua chose to come here just to support us and for us to meet. I've been in Toronto, I took the course in 2011. I've never met anyone from Toronto, look at this. This is awesome, thank you.